We all know the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of the dinosaurs, one of if not the largest carnivores to ever walk the planet, with the face only a mother can love and arms that will forever have people joking about its purpose. We have the T-Rex. This is the megatheropod known for taking on some of the most heavily evolved creatures that the planet ever had to offer, vocally the Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. Yet despite this predator being the apex of its ecosystem, an interesting question has to be brought up. Was this tyrant lizard truly unstoppable? And did it hunt the largest group of dinosaurs to ever exist? The sauropods? Well first you have to ask, did the T-Rex and sauropods ever meet? To many, people don't think sauropods coexisted with the T-Rex, being overshadowed by the Triceratops, Edmontosaurus, Ankylosaurus, etc. Yet let's be honest, I wouldn't be making this video if this was the case. The actual answer to this question is that yes, they did, although it wasn't a common occurrence. What do I mean by this? Well, the sauropod that is at the centerfold of this discussion is the Alamosaurus. This titan resided in places such as New Mexico and Texas, which the Tyrannosaurus inhabited as well. The only issue being that both remains of the Alamosaurus and its potential predator are quite fragmentary in the two regions. But yes, the ultimate answer is they did reside in the same places and would have more than likely come across each other. So now that we've established that, next we have to put them side by side and figure out if it was feasible for the Rex to attempt this task. Despite the T-Rex being the definition of that guy, the Alamosaurus dwarfs even the king of the dinos. Now, the T-Rex was no peep squeak, being around 12 meters long, 4 meters tall, and 8.8 tons in weight. Yet the Alamosaurus exceeded 18 meters in length, 8 meters in height, and weighed over 30 tons. I mean, it's a sauropod after all, but they really said, anything that you can do, I can do better. Not only do we have to take size into account, but also their builds. Particularly, comparing the T-Rex's structure to likely sauropod hunters, such as the Giganotosaurus. If we do a bit of comparing and contrasting, we can tell that despite these two being similar in length, height, and weight, their overall structures show significant differences. The Rex clearly evolved a far more bulky build, with a strong bite, a thicker skull, and robust teeth, meant for shattering bone. Meanwhile, the Giganotosaurus evolved a more slender frame, a slimmer skull, and a lower bite force. But there was a trade-off for this. The lighter bite force of the Giga wasn't for no reason. Rather, it being due to their hunting style. With their highly serrated teeth, it gave them an easier time slicing into massive sauropods, assisting in bleeding them out. It also meant they could open and close their jaws at a faster pace, which meant more bites being delivered, and hence meaning more stacking damage could be done. Also, the slimmer structure would have given them the ability to move at faster speeds than the Rex, which again, would greatly assist in positioning themselves safely to the sauropods that they hunted. Now, I don't think we need to jump as deeply into the description of the Alamosaurus, but we'll go into a bit of detail. Its build is typical of that of a titanosaur, having a large robust body, long neck to help with feeding as well as spotting predators, and a long tail to act as a counterbalance as well as being a potential weapon, with the possibility of osteoderms being on their skin. Clearly, there's a massive size disparity between the two, so could, why, the more realistic question is, would the T-Rex do it? Now, I'll be honest, we're not quite sure as we don't have direct evidence of T-Rex taking on these behemoths, yet that's not stating that they never interacted. Research carried out by Roberto Lee et al. in their article Bite and Tooth Marks on Sauropod Dinosaurs from the Morrison Formation, Tyrannosaurs were mentioned, although not frequent, to having tooth markings discovered on sauropods, which indicated at the very least, scavenging behaviours. Not only this, but American paleontologist Riley Black outright states Tyrannosaurus almost certainly preyed on these titanic sauropods. Do I think that this is a bit of an exaggeration? Well, of course. T-Rex actively preying on these units just doesn't seem accurate? This is majorly due to what was discussed before, and in my opinion, tips the scale into why they didn't actively hunt these sauropods, this being their build. I believe if they were actively hunting sauropods, they would have evolved similar to the build of the Giga, being sleek, with sharper teeth for the purpose of bleeding out their prey. Like, let's be honest, what is a bone crushing bite going to do around the thick leg of a sauropod? I mean, don't get me wrong, it will do some damage, especially if it goes higher up on the body. But due to the thickness of these sauropods, it's not the same as going for a Triceratops, Edmontosaurus, or Ankylosaurus, 
where it's easier to get a grip around their prey. I also imagine due to the stockier skull, it would take longer for the T-Rex to open and shut its jaws repeatedly, which isn't good when you're trying to bleed out a massive target. And I mean, it would most probably have to try bleed it out, as it couldn't look for a quick one-shot due to the overall mass of this creature, as well as its long neck, which would be a struggle for the Rex to reach. It would look pretty funny though, seeing a T-Rex trying to reach up and grab the vital areas of the Alamosaurus. This isn't to say though that they never hunted them. I mean, I could see a Rex going after a young, sick or injured Alamosaurus, but a healthy adult? Definitely not. Even if I had a group of Rexes, the risks far outweighed the benefits. Why hunt an Alamosaurus when you could just hunt a Montosaurus? With the amount of weight that their sauropods packed behind their blows, there's no doubt that a single hit from these creatures could be more than fatal. Ultimately, my belief among this matter isn't as straight and narrow as T-Rex vs Spinosaurus. Or Spinosaurus. I pretty much sided with T-Rex being an opportunistic hunter, where it would take down the prey that would be available to it at the time that would pose as minimal struggle as possible, even if said prey was a sick Alamosaurus. I mean, so be it. Or if it came across a carcass, then it would have to begin questioning the T-Rex's intelligence if it didn't take advantage of it. However, when it comes to taking down an adult, I just think that the most powerful theropod specced specifically into taking down armored adversaries within its own weight range, rather than being adapted to taking down prey that was 10 times its own weight. Its jaws wouldn't have been effective enough for a lone Rex to take it down. Now this isn't to discredit the T-Rex at all. I mean, in a battle against nearly any other theropod, I think it wins quite swiftly, even against the Giganotosaurus that was built to take down sauropods. It's almost like rock, paper, scissors. Just because you're adapted to take down one thing, doesn't mean you're adapted to take out the other. Everyone has a counter, and hey, that's how the ecosystem remains balanced. So yeah, if the T-Rex would go after this guy, then it would be biting off more than he could chew. So if I am going to give down a final smackdown answer on whether or not the T-Rex hunted sauropods, I'm going to say no, the T-Rex could not effectively hunt healthy adult sauropods. Injured, elderly, or young sauropods? Completely different story. If we're putting a peak Rex up against a peak Alamosaurus, let's just say my chips are non Rex. And that is my answer. People may disagree, people may agree. Comment all that below, I would love to read your thoughts. Anyways, we've reached the end of the video, and yeah, might be surprising to some people that the Tyrannosaurus was not the unstoppable predator that many people make them out to be. They did have their limits, even if those limits were 30 ton skyscraping sauropods. But I digress. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as checking out my Instagram and TikTok for shorter form content. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.